Hello, good morning. I wanted to pop in and chat with you real quick because I have been sharing a bunch of stuff about time management, which time management is fantastic. Those are great skills to have, right? Because we only get so many hours in our day. Time is the one thing that is fixed, right? You don't get it back. So I think it is very important to use your time wisely and to be maximizing that, not just for productivity, but so that you have stuff in there that you enjoy doing that you want to do with your life um so those are great great skills to have and i used to be that person that was like i am too busy time was my biggest excuse for everything i don't have time to work out i don't have time to do you know get all my work done i don't have time to check my emails I don't have time. That was when I started coaching and my coach was helping mentor me um, to get my business off the ground all the time. I said, I don't have time for that. I don't have time to put into my business. And it wasn't really a matter of I don't have time. And I'm sure you've heard this. It was a matter of where my priorities were. And I was spending a lot of time doing things that weren't pushing me towards my goals. So I think that time management is an amazing skill to have. There are all kinds of things out there that you can read. If you're interested in more, obviously I can share more with you about that, but that's not why I wanted to come on and chat with you. Um, because I think that there is so much out there about time management that it's pretty easy to find some systems to use. And we all know like make a to-do list, all of that stuff. But what was really the biggest game changer for me? What I think is an even more important skill than time management. I kind of look at it like time management is like the base. Like you got to have those skills in place, right? Because you need to be maximizing your time. And also, like I said at the top, like making sure that you're getting things in there that you enjoy doing with your life. Um, so that is all well and good. But what was even more powerful for me was learning how to manage my energy. Um, and this is probably my biggest secret in my success is once I started to learn to pay attention to my energy and flow with the energy that I had, that is when things really started clicking. Um, so for example, you're going to have days where you wake up and you are just tired, you're drained. And what I used to do was say like, oh, I'm just so exhausted, but I have all this stuff to do. I am just going to push through and I would force myself to try to have a day like I had on my most productive days. And those days I would often, stuff that would normally take me five or 10 minutes, I could spend an hour or more on. So you can start to see how if you start to examine those kinds of things, that's not using your time wisely, but it really wasn't a time thing. I was making time to do the things. It was that I was fighting that energy that I was feeling. So obviously we all have our day is set up and in the morning we wake up, depending on if you're a morning person or not, might have more energy or less energy first thing in the morning. But at a certain point, like we get into a little state of more energy. And then as the day goes on, um, we start to slow down and there are different types of people. So there's some people, you know, your night owls that you get a big boost of energy in the evening. So I think most of us are very familiar with how our energy flows throughout a 24 hour period, right? You kind of know if you're a morning person or a night owl, you know when you're gonna get the most done, when you're gonna be the most productive, that kind of thing. Um, but I think that what we tend to also not pay so much attention to is going with that flow, right? If you are a night owl, 
our work day tends to be set up. So you start working in the morning and you work through, you know, late afternoon, maybe into the evening, and then you shut off and you have your family time. But if you are a night owl and from like nine to 11 p.m. is your most energetic time, you'd you should be using that right for all of your like maybe that's when you have all these this creative inspiration and i think so many people because of how our day is set up and how society tells us things should be done you're like netflix and chilling at that point right when that would be your time that you could be in flow you could be getting so much like all this creative inspiration you could be getting so much more done than trying to push through at like 9 to 11 a.m. when that might not be your strongest point. And it likewise too, like if you are a morning person, often we're, you know, we get up, we have our breakfast, like maybe you do your workout, which is fantastic. Workouts give us so much energy. That's why I work out first thing in the morning. But I think that we can, we can get into the habit of like, oh, well, work doesn't start until like 9 a.m. but maybe your most productive time of the day is 6 a.m. so really paying attention to when you're feeling that energy and i'm going to add a whole other layer to this for my ladies out there whether you are actively cycling or not for some reason um, why is my phone going black <laughs> i don't want this video to shut off i'm not done yet um so whether you are actively cycling or not, as women, our bodies are also tuned into a monthly cycle. Um, men too, because we do, the moon has that energy. Like there's a reason why the tides are stronger during full moon, the new moon and that kind of stuff. But women, especially because our bodies are also set up for that monthly cycle. Um, so really paying attention to that as well so for example obviously when your cycle is about to start when you're when you are actively menstruating you are the lowest energy and then you go into a period of having a period you go into a phase of having a lot more energy and then that holds pretty steady and then as you go into like there is a reason why pms is a thing because your energy is dipping, right? And if you don't honor that and pay attention to those energy dips, you can be fighting yourself. And when your body is telling you, you need to rest, and this goes for anybody at any point in any day, if your body is sending those strong signals that you are burnt out, you are done, you need to rest, if you try to push through that, you are not going to be as productive, creative, as nice of a person, right? <laughs> as if you were to say, you know what? I'm kind of feeling done for the day. I think I should maybe unplug and go do something to fill my own cup. Go maybe go to bed a little bit earlier, whatever it is that makes you feel better. Go for a walk outside, have a dance party, like there are things we can do to rejuvenate and recuperate ourselves. And there are also things we can do to lift our energy back up. Um, but a, a lot of the time figuring out that sweet spot of like, do I need to rest? Maybe what I need the most right now is some recovery um, and honoring that and doing that. And I have found that once I started to tune into my energy and manage my energy, more like obviously I have my to-do lists, I have my planner, I have all of that stuff. Um, so it's not that you can just throw that like time management stuff out the window, but once you start to use your energy as your guide to what it is that you should be spending your time on and whether you should be unplugging or whether you should be like, okay, I have a ton of energy right now, I am gonna get, this stuff that is like, if you've ever read Eat That Frog, all these frogs off my to-do list, like using that energy. When I started to honor that and pay attention to that and tune into that, 
and go with what I was feeling, the energy that I was feeling, everything in my life started to just go so much better. Those times that I had the energy and would sit down to work, I could crunch out so much more work in those work sessions because I had the energy to do it. And the times that I was feeling a little bit lower, that I needed more rest, when I started to actually rest, my body was able to recuperate. So then those spells of actually having the energy were even more powerful and I could get even more done rather than what I used to do where I was like, I just need to power through. I don't know why I'm feeling this way. I just need to power through. And what would happen is I just ended up feeling drained and ragged and burnt out a lot of the time. So what I would suggest is or recommend if you're interested in kind of figuring out this energy, start to pay attention and whether you're, you're a big journaler, I tend to not be like a big like written journaler, but I do like using my planner, just making like little tiny notes. So start to pay attention in the flow of your day. If you've not figured out in terms of a 24 hour period where you have the most energy, start to pay attention to that. Um, and track that, make a little note, sit down at the end of the day or the beginning of the day and kind of reflect on that and really start to tone, tune into when was I the most creative? When could I get the most done? When was I the most productive? When did I feel a crash and need a little bit of unplug time or rest? When was I just kind of feeling a little brain dead? Um, and then for women, I mean, men can do this too for sure, but it definitely is more powerful with women because our bodies are just set up differently. They're set up that way. Start to tune into with your month. And if you are interested in diving much deeper into the monthly cycle aspects of it, I am, it is not finished yet, but I am working on a little mini course to help teach women how to work with their cycles and how to really dive into all of that, what it all means, how to track all of it and pay attention to your energy. So keep an eye out. I will have something, I don't have a date yet, but I will keep you updated on when that will be launching. I am super excited because it is something that I am so passionate about because it literally has transformed. It's transformed my business. It's transformed every aspect of my life. It's transformed me to just be happier and have like actually be able to get that rest and that recuperation when I need it and be able to when I am shooting for big goals, know that this is the time to be spending on all of this um, and what different aspects of my work, of whatever it is I'm working on or working towards and goals, um, to be able to utilize that to the best advantage. So, um, hi guys. So just keep an eye out. I will be sharing a lot more on that to come, but I hope that this helped today just to give you some ideas and if you have kind of felt stuck on the time management and you're like, I do all the things, I've tried all the systems, and I just feel like I never have enough, um, then I hope this gave you some great ideas and great tools to kind of maybe look at things from a little bit of a different perspective and try. So I'm gonna sign off. I have a meeting to get to in just a minute, but thank you so much. And I will talk to you soon. Have a fantastic day.